Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is Nas. And I'm Ronnie. And this is New Girls on the Block. Welcome back. Yeah, so this week, well, first of all, how was your week? <laughs> My week has been good. Yeah. I, what did I do last week? Well, we started a project. We've been oh, trying no. to work on making a table. You mm -hmm. know, we're carpenters now. We do everything. <laughs> yeah, so I've been working on a table. Mm -hmm. um, for my boyfriend's birthday, I want to gift him a table, but it's been a struggle, y'all. Like, I don't know how people do this. Like, well, I do know how people do this, but just getting in the hang of it and getting mm -hmm. all the tools and understanding what each thing does. Like, yeah. TikTok and makes timing. everything. Yeah, timing. Because <laughs> TikTok don't tell you about the three hours waiting in between painting and doing this yeah. and doing that. TikTok makes everything look easy. easy. Quick and easy. But, I'm getting into the flow of things, and yeah, that's been the most thing I've been focused on mm -hmm. um, over the past week. I'm trying to think how I really been focused on anything else. No, just really getting ready for my boyfriend's birthday, trying oh, to yeah. find plans because he don't care about his birthday at yeah. all. Yeah, and I'm a birthday girl. Like, really, I that's I love good. birthdays. Like I, I did too. I feel like it's a day to celebrate when this person was brought into this room, mm -hmm. and it's like you can celebrate every day, but like. God went off when he made a Sarah, like, yes. her. And like, Micah. Yes, like, Period. I like to celebrate people's birthdays. Yeah. It's like, I'm grateful you was born on the same. Yeah, like, that's sweet. That's nice. Yeah. I, I'm not a big, like, like, I we are big birthday people, like my family and stuff. Mm -hmm. But personally, I just be like, okay, it's a birthday. But my family's more big on it, so we always have fun. Mm -hmm. But I'm never really, like, oppressed about a birthday. But... I, I love birthdays too. <laughs> I know lost friends over birthdays. Uh, like, yeah. And bye to them. For real. This is my birthday still gonna be popping. Period. Like, I do not care. Period. Yeah. That's good though. Um, How about else? yours? Uh, mine was good. I started the project with you. Yeah. I really, I'm trying to think of anything else. It was just work. Um, I went to, and what's today? Oh, yeah, I went to. Like a little event on Saturday, Friday and Saturday. Every Friday we go to like me and my family go to like this uh, vegan event mm -hmm. and just go because they have like, oh my goodness, they have these donuts. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to stay away from sweets because I've been trying to like I'm trying to like lose some shed some pounds for summer, but these donuts fire the best and it's vegan the best donuts I've ever tasted mm -hmm. in my life. It's like a little and I used to really like donuts like. Mm -hmm. Here and there, I eat them, but I usually don't even finish the whole donut. Yeah, like, it's pretty like, overly sweet. That's that's the thing. The, the donut that he made, it was like I don't know how you feel about like cream filled or like girl. It was like cream filled with um, strawberries and like fresh berries mm -hmm. and a little bit of powdered sugar on top. But the donut wasn't like it tasted more like a fluffy like. It tastes like a donut, like but it wasn't like. Yes, it yeah. was like a beignet, but like stuffed with the cream and the. Mm, oh! It sounds good. And it was not. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was not real sweet at all. And it was just like, I ate the whole thing. Usually, like you said, too, yeah. I'm not a big donut person, and I can't usually finish one whole donut because it's like, I feel like, like. I'm, I'm like. eating sugar. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, this is like diabetes, and mm -hmm. I'm not about to do that to myself. But this one, I ate the whole thing, and I'm like, oh my goodness. So, yeah, that's what yeah. we went. We went to the event on. Friday and Saturday and he was there on both days. But um yeah, we just went to an event. Um we tried to go to a jazz festival Friday night after the event, but uh, my mom she gonna watch this too, but she got the wrong date. She uh -huh. is this week that's coming up, this Friday that's coming up, and not last Friday. So we went there searching all over the it was at LACMA. I was just about to say, LACMA is about to start yeah, uh, and we got the summer series. Mm -hmm. and we Every got Friday though, so y'all yeah, yeah. still can catch it. That's what we're gonna do this one. Yeah. But uh, that one, we was like, wait, where's the event? We went to talk to him, he was like, that's the next Friday. And he's like, uh, <laughs> Not <laughs> for real. So we went there to just- I like, adore your mom. mom. Like, She's sweet. Yeah, yeah. I like my mom. Like, yeah. She's so sweet <laughs> and she like, I, I just love how she is so active in your lives. Like I yeah. feel like a lot of parents, once their kids turn 18, they'd be like, yeah. I don't care if they live their own life, but your mom stays active. And she stays like young and hip, like yeah. she's not like trying to like, she, when we go out with her, she's not complaining or be like, oh, look what she wearing yeah. or like that. Like she's mm -hmm. got a young spirit. Like, Definitely. And that's I feel like she looks so good too. Period. You watch it, we have. Yeah. <laughs> we got to you. We got to yeah. you all. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like that's, 
like all of us are so close and we always do like things together mm -hmm. and i feel like well my older sister she's more like the what's it called orchestrator of mm -hmm. the event so it's like oh we all together okay yeah she can be like let's go to this and i'm like okay let's go and then we all just hang out so yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was my weekend. The week was just work. Um, nothing else that I did really. And yeah, that was my week. Oh, what? we're gonna get into it this episode, but I finished Love is Blind yes. season four. Yes. Okay, y'all. So, she told me about it. We was at work and then she was, yeah, she was talking about it. And I'm like, that's those type of shows I do not, like that's not my type of show. I don't yeah. like these dating yeah. shows. It's just so annoying to me. But Love Is Blind, it would catch you. Like yeah. I wasn't watching any of them before this year. Mm -hmm. I watched one, The Ultimatum. Oh but yeah. I didn't really like that because it was just it. like I kind of felt bad for everybody by the yeah. end. I was just like, damn, it we all messy. ruined our relationships over over this show. It was crazy. It was messy. But Love Is Blind, very good. It got me. Yeah. Um, the season went like you got to go back to the. The previous season because they were just so right. messy. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I we I got into that and I finished the season actually yesterday night, and then I'm like, okay, this is something we have to talk about. So what we're gonna do is kind of discuss our opinions on the show, what we think about, you know, how the concept of meeting somebody like that and then actually fall in love, like because it's given arranged marriage. Yeah. Like, but them arranged marriages, I feel like back in the day, they was working out like kind of, but we never know the true story behind it. Because I heard some stories about people who like got into arranged marriages, and most of the time back then it was like twelve year olds. Yeah, you was forced. Yeah, yeah of course. So that's why I worked out because you yeah, had to make they have marriage. to be together forever. If not beheaded or something yeah. like that, or no. so. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But yeah, how did you feel about just like the whole concept of the? The, sh the concept of the show or about this season? This season, the whole concept of this season. Like okay, I felt like, um, I like this season. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely feel like Love is Blind, they like, like last season when you watched, I feel like it was a younger crowd. Mm -hmm. And this season it's like a more mature crowd and they're actually like looking for love. Yeah. And like, it's a, it was a better chance of them finding their partners. But I also feel like the more seasons that happen, it's more and more people who's on it for clout. Mm. And uh, so I feel like in theory, the show, like the idea, it can work. Cause you're literally falling in love with somebody's personality. Yeah. But I, for one, I'm not going, I'm gonna keep it a book. I feel yeah. like looks matter. And that's how I feel like, spoiler alert, if y'all haven't seen it, y'all need to pause right now and yeah. go watch it. Exactly. But that's where Zach had the game fucked up to me. Like, as soon as that uh Irina said he looked like a cartoon character. He should've known that it was about to be Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like as soon as Jackie seen Marshall, like personality can only take you so far. Yeah. But people ego will get in the way. And when you're in a real life situation do you want do you feel comfortable being seen with this person Ooh, like yeah and it was just like i don't know it's yeah. just like in theory it can work mm -hmm. but i feel like it shows how no matter what people are still like gonna consider looks mm -hmm. they're gonna consider money mm -hmm. like how much money you have how you live in and then like um yeah it's just like it's easy to fall in love with the idea of somebody in two weeks or True. four weeks. Mm -hmm. But marriage, that's, that's a commitment. Very, very much. And I feel like, so my take on it, because I don't think Marshall was like ugly. Mm -hmm. I just think that he has a certain, he's a certain demeanor of a person that she was not. He needed somebody. They was giving me Will and Jada vibes. Really? Like, but with less love. And like, like very masculine. Will is like very like I feel like Jada carries the masculine energy more mm -hmm. in that relationship. Yeah. And Will, he's not like he's not gay or well, I don't know. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> the streets we talk. Yeah, the streets but we talk. He it's just like he has a more calm, like not so machismo like yeah. personality to him. Mm -hmm. Where he's a cool guy, you wanna you're not intimidated by Will Smith. Yeah, exactly. I, I totally agree with that. Cause even when she was saying like, oh, you need a man up, like he she he was not the person for her. And I feel like 
Because at first I was like, Jackie, you mess. She messy. Like, that's messed up. But when it started, like, going through, I was like, okay. I don't think she was really... I feel like the show made her seem like more of a mess than she really was. No, I think she is a mess. Really? But, like, look, I look think at her and Josh. I she's the show. Really? I don't think they really like each other. Really? I they think... been together for a year. Yeah. They oh. knew the smoke that was coming to them. Mm -hmm. I feel Josh, first of all, the team uh. is Josh needs to get his face fixed. I'm just playing. But Josh, mm -hmm. I feel like it's a competition for Josh. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like he got engaged to somebody else on the show that they didn't show. Um, Sis came out on Twitter and was talking about how um, after a few months it didn't work out. I feel like within the month of them not working out, yeah. he ended up going to hook up with Jackie when he realized this wasn't going to work out. Oh my gosh, girls. I didn't know. See, yeah. I be in the tip streets about mm -hmm. the show. You know I'm messy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I felt like Josh, like, I feel like he just wanted to he felt like he lost to Marshall mm -hmm. and his ego was hit. When he seen Marshall again, he like had that lose her and that's why he called her him a bitch. Yeah, and I was checking crazy. his temperature to see, okay, like how far can I go with him? Yeah. Cause Marshall did say they was cool. Mm -hmm. And him and Josh were real cool in yeah. the pods. And I feel like he was testing his gangster. Marshall failed the test, mm -hmm. and then that was Josh's perfect opportunity to pounce. Yeah. But I feel like Jackie, like, I think she's shallow, and I think she wants somebody, like, if she could, she would have Brett. I feel like that's her ideal. You think when she so? looked at Brett, she would let Brett be soft for her, because that's her ideal person she would want to be with. When she looked at Brett, she... Really? Looked, I didn't like, even... Mm -hmm. See, we started getting on the signs. But I felt like, cause I don't know, I felt like Josh is a person that she was she, dating in real life. Cause he was like kind of, yeah, like messy and kind of just like out there and like air, kind of arrogant. And she seemed like she, she falls for, that. yeah, like those type of people, like just like, oh, like a lot. And like, how do you think that's been working for her? I don't know. Well, she's saying she on a show trying to find love. True, so. but they've been together for a year. That's how I'm like. Maybe they were actually the right, I don't know the business or the tea on how yeah. the relationship is going or not, but I felt like Marshall was definitely the wrong choice for her, mm -hmm. and Josh seems like more her speed, so if they're together for a year and they had pet parents, that, that's what the reunion they was like, oh, we're pet parents now, blah, 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 but mm -hmm. I don't we're know. gonna get to that reunion at the end, because yeah. why are jacking up there? I don't think that's fair that you could cause the most chaos in the season and then you get to do the reunion and not get the smoke from everybody. Mm -hmm. When they want to give Marshall the smoke, that was they want to give, and if you watch last season, it's a guy named Cole. Mm -hmm. Everybody ganged up on Cole for how he was treating the, his partner throughout the whole season. Mm -hmm. And I feel like she knew that was coming to her. So she was like, deuces. And I don't feel like that's, if y'all don't let other people do that, Cause Marshall, y'all wasted his time. Why do y'all have Marshall there? Yeah, I don't really. I don't feel bad for Marshall. I don't. I feel like I feel bad. I do feel bad for Marshall, but I also feel like Marshall allowed her to treat him. That's the, way the thing. That's why I don't feel bad. Because that he wanted her so bad that he was willing to be embarrassed. Too much. Yeah. And that shows how he really feel about himself. That's but on that topic. Have you seen his tweets? No, I haven't seen his tweets. So, Marshall, people have dug up his tweets mm -hmm. when he's talking about his preferences and the women he likes. And he's talking about, my lady got to be 80% Latina, pure breed, like... Pure breed, braid, whatever. Pure breed, Latina. And it's just like... I feel like he knew she was Latina and the things mm. that he drew, he got her energy. Because yeah. Jackie, you can tell me she wasn't from the Bronx. Yeah, she for was sure. very much New York, Dominican. I felt like she, the way she, her lingo and stuff kind of reminds me of like Bay Area. Maybe. So I was like, because she was saying certain stuff. And then that, Seattle. Yeah. To, I was thinking Bay Area. Maybe. Yeah, because the, the way she talked. But. Yeah, I didn't know any of that about Marshall, like, mm -hmm. but then that's why I'm like, something about him. But he's dating like, a black woman now, mm -hmm. a nurse, um, but I just feel like 
I feel like people are gonna grow because we don't know Definitely. how old he is when he tweeted this stuff. And I, I think he's only like 26 too. So I think he was like 18 or 19 when um, he made those tweets. Yeah. But that's not the first time I've heard a man speak like that. True. I feel like it's very disrespectful and it kind of goes into him when he say that she was a project. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't, because they, at first they were trying to make her seem like the bad guy, but then when they start replaying stuff like, oh, you called me a fuck, I'm like, why would you ever say that to somebody and think they're going to be okay with it? Like, mm -hmm. I felt like that was showing his true colors, and she was like, I'm not about to do it with him, and even saying, yeah. like, he said, he said the derogatory stuff right before it, um, she met his family, and I was like, and then, but the derogatory stuff, I feel like she was pressing that man yeah. and she was trying to get that out of him. Did you read the the text message, the leaked text message? I didn't read all of them. I know she was calling him gay. She was like, he was sweet. He was twerking on the bed. Oh, yeah. But was he really twerking or was he just like dancing how he was like when he seen her, when he did that little dance? Maybe, but that would turn me off too. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, like, and that, like, I'll be like, what are you doing? Save the truck. Yeah. So after that, it's like I couldn't really take you serious. Yeah. But it's no buts. I feel like <laughs> I feel like they wasn't a good match from the start. Yeah. I feel like, and that goes back to the topic. It's like can shows like this really work? At a point, they can. But when you're staying on this show, you know you don't like this man. Yeah. You, I think Marsha really will have went for Jackie in yeah. the real world and he wanted Jackie, but I don't think Jackie wanted him. Yeah. And I feel like like Marshall just sold himself short. I think Marshall needs to have more self respect. Yeah. I think Jackie needs some therapy. Like I, I agree. I agree. You could you could edit, but you can't give them material that's not there. And when yeah. she was like, you need to man up and then he started clapping. Who are you clapping at? Yeah. I'm like, sis. She was kind of like. It's giving bipolar. It's yeah, giving erratic. Okay. And then even her exit interview when they left, she well, I don't give a fuck. I, um, I might, I don't, I'm not marrying him. I'm not marrying Josh. You know, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, she was giving oh, like crazy. And I, I feel like that's why her and Josh work out. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't know about y'all, when it comes to the way men express their masculinity, mm -hmm. I feel like it, I, Marshall wasn't giving me unmasculine vibes. I think Marshall was giving me more like, I'm not a great, I'm just here. Yeah. Like he's down, he just like gives me, I'm a funny, cool, nice guy. He gives yeah. me Will Smith vibes. Yeah. Like, but she wanted him to have that moment when he walked up and smacked the shit out of somebody and he was not going to have that moment. Yeah. And I think that Josh, like, you say you don't want a sweet man, but Josh over here with the hanging earring, he over here talk about, I'm, I'm from the city. When he did like, that, like, I was like... When men do that, that's like so the... Gross. I bet if I go to that man's Instagram, he going to have a that. haircut with that damn heart. And no, y'all are not a part of the six. Y'all are not from nobody's Toronto. Y'all are not Drake's friend. Yeah, this man did not know y'all. That's so cringe. To like me. it's like so gross. Like what you know? What? Why would you? Ugh, I don't know. That's like turn off for sure. He was like, like imagine I'm like, yeah, I love Beyonce. Yeah, let me throw up the rock. Like, and that's not even her. That's Jay's. Like, no, it's just giving. A mess. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. I did not like his demeanor in that episode. I didn't I don't know. He just seemed but he's that's what I'm saying. He seemed perfect for her. Like mm -hmm. obviously she liked that type of energy. Personally, boxer. She he go ahead oh, with yeah. that. And did you see his ears? Like not yeah. to say that like that. He definitely had the boxer ears, like cauliflower ears. <laughs> I was like, yeah, his ears, but I was like, okay. I don't think like, he was a good boxer because my man used to box and he don't got them ears. And I was just talking to him about boxing mm -hmm. and about uh, the Javante, um, whatever uh, the other man's name is. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how come they don't look all beat up? He was like, 
you know somebody's a good boxer if they don't look weathered. Mm. You shouldn't be getting hit that much yeah. as a boxer to where somebody yeah, can tell it's like permanently yeah. damaged. Mike Tyson don't look like that. For real. Mike Tyson and Boots. He bit an ear off. He, <laughs> he bite his ears. <laughs> period. He needed to bite Josh's ear off. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're a mess. Um, I didn't. I feel like, to me per personally, I feel like they're perfect for each other, Jackie and. Do you, how long do you think are are they gonna make it down the aisle? Probably not. You don't think so? Actually, mm, let me not throw in stuff. I don't know what people's relationship is, but I do not. I don't know. I just feel like they both need therapy, and mm -hmm. if they get therapy, they'll probably be perfect for each other. I'm gonna say it here. I do not think that they're gonna last. I don't mm -hmm. care if I sound like a hater. I think mm -hmm. they're both unhinged. Mm -hmm. I think Jackie is fucking crazy. Yeah. I think Josh is crazy as well. I think they both thrive off of chaos and negativity. Yeah. But maybe two negative. Do two negative? No, two negatives make a negative. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. They're two negatives and. Do two negatives make a Yeah, still. No, two negatives make a positive, but nothing positive coming out of this situation. Yeah. Cause they cancel each other out and make it positive. Yeah. But yeah, no, I don't think, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think Jackie is broke. Yeah. Um, Cause she, she did not give that man ring back, and she about to go pawn it. Yeah. She already pawned it, and I feel like um, she's not gonna be happy in the long run. Cause clearly Josh is not a successful boxer. So <laughs> I don't know what kind of money he's gonna be. Yeah, getting, like did he say he was doing sense. anything else? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. He's doing Love is Blind, and I don't think they're gonna get the check they're expecting when everybody hates them. Yeah. But good luck. Yeah, so that's our take on Jackie and Josh and Marshall. So, how do you feel about Paul and Micah? Hmm. I'm about to dive in. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Micah? I prefer Jackie over Micah. Micah yes, is so know. fake to me. Mm. I think Micah is like one of those polite racists who smile in your Ooh. face. Yeah. It's like not saying the lady's racist. Yeah, yeah. It's just a <laughs> but she is a is a figure of speech. Yeah. But she's one of those people who smile in your face and then <gasps> Yeah. I, I didn't say how do you mean? Yeah. And I feel like that's another reason why I don't didn't like the reunion because they let her ride on that victim narrative. Yeah. When you, I feel like Micah, if y'all watch the show, I feel like she pressured both Kwame and Paul to yeah. give her. her and she gave them ultimatums because I really feel like Paul would end up with that other girl. Same. And I he feel like he oh. likes girls with dark hair that are earthy, that are smart. I feel like Rose seen his mom like Micah. Yeah. And he was like. Somebody's gonna take care of me. But it's just like, if you're going off of that, by the end he was like, you're not nurturing. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to raise kids. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, girl, what do you do? You barely got a chin, like, sis. Ooh. Like, mm -mm. Yeah. I don't like Micah because she throws rocks and hides her hands. Yeah. And she also, I don't think she has respect for herself. Yeah. Because the way she allowed Irina to treat her. And her like, friend. And her friend, which Ew. is. Irina times three. Yeah. Irina is was a hot mess, but you chose to be her friend in the pod and you roll with that. Yeah. And that shows a lot about your character to mm -hmm. me. And then on top of that, like you were bullying other girls. I feel like she was laughing at Chelsea. Yeah. She was laughing at Bliss. Like That's not and it's it. just like no shade, but y'all are like um uh, what is the word? Like, y'all are visually challenging to look at. I'm not gonna say y'all ugly, but y'all made me squint. And their attitudes make don't help. Ugglier. Yeah. Like, don't be like that. Like, and I feel like, I mean, to each his own, everybody has their own look. I'm gonna say that. Everybody is, you know, it's somebody yeah. for everybody. Some people look like beans, and some people look like a dream. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. Not beans and dreams. <laughs> oh, no shade though, but I feel like that made them look worse. Like, don't yes. come in here. Because, like, like she, what's her, Irina said, like, oh, she was insecure about her skin, blah, blah, blah. When you insecure, and they even put her on blast about that, like, 
oh, you said you were insecure and people start like talking a mess about you or whatever when you grew up, but now you're acting the same it's way. It's like hurt people, hurt people. Yeah, but it's like, why not understand that that's how that made you feel? Why would you do that to somebody else? So and that shows what kind of character she had. Yeah. And then when she had those, <laughs> I need a moment. Yeah. I'm so happy those people laugh. Start laughing. Because girl, you're a joke. Yeah. Like, honestly, your joke. And I just feel like my, with Micah, it just like you picked her to be your friend and you lash onto her. Yeah. And then we see what your friends are like in real life and they're just as bad, if not worse. worse. So it shows me that's the kind of person you are. Yeah. You are going to be a horrible person. You're the company you keep. Yeah. Like, no matter you're you are the company you keep and if every situation you're going to end up with fucked up people around you what kind of person what kind of person are you yeah i feel like her mama didn't care either i feel like micah's parents did not they was like take the bitch <laughs> <laughs> like take her like i do not feel like her parents can and i feel like her mom was low-key shading her too mm -hmm. i feel like nobody like micah i don't feel like micah like herself yeah and i feel like she needs to get a personality of her own. Uh -huh. Like, mm -mm. what do you think about her friends? So that girl, her for real. So first of all, the, the blonde one, she was a hot mess. And I feel like she is a reason why her and Paul did not work. Mm -hmm. Because he's seen the type of friend she was hanging out with. And they start going in her, oh, he's not the one for you. In front of his face, basically. Like, and he was just like, oh, like trying to, she was like, oh, she don't like you. Basically, said, I think she said something like that. Like, uh, Micah told Paul, like, oh, she's something. He was like, I don't care. She's yeah. like, you don't care. What do you mean you don't care? What do you mean you don't care? Girl, I do not care. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? What do I mean? I'm speaking the good English. Like, no hablas. And you could tell he was getting, like, anytime he started turning red, you know. Mm -hmm. like, and he was like, I'm going to go to the Yeah. I, he went to the bathroom and just went upstairs. He left there. I would have been texting the server, like, uh uh. For this real? not working. Come get this nigga. Like, yeah, no. no way. I feel like that he he I feel like truly he liked her. But I feel like she, she fumbled, fumbled and, I, and she kept trying to like, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Oh blah 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 blah. And it's like What is there to love about you, girl? And not even that. I feel like to be honest, I didn't hate Micah that much. Not as much as I mean not, I don't hate any of them like that, but give me three good qualities about Micah that you've seen on the show. I think she was nice to Paul. To Paul? Not yeah. nice in general? Maybe she is just fake. Because I felt like she... Okay, I felt like she genuinely wanted love. But she has her own personal issues where she's insecure and she don't know how to communicate or be a good enough person to have the love reciprocated that she wants. Do you feel like she would have been happy with Kwame? N no, she would probably. I feel like Kwame. Kwame is stupid. Sorry, but I feel Alex like. Alex or Kwame? What? Either of them are stupid? No, or Alex or Kwame. You know that's his other name, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I was so pissed when he said that. I'm like, he just giving coon. Mm hmm. Like. You think, uh, what's her name? Chelsea called him Alex? Cause by the end of the show, it started with, did you notice that? It started off with Kwame, and then she started calling him Qua Kwame. Like she's, she started calling him uh, Kwam. Yeah. She's giving him like a little nickname, Kwam. Mm -hmm. I bet now, you think she called him Alex? She probably tried to, I don't know. This is my baby Alex. Um, that's so, he's so cringe, but I do feel like, hmm, if, if Micah did get with uh, Kwame, mm -hmm. she would have manipulated him and he would have been feeling stupid. But he, he would have broke that man down. Yeah, I feel like he is just so, I don't know. And by, by the name thing and just his demeanor, he just seems not. But to be a devil's advocate, his sister name was Barbara too. I feel like they used their American names to assimilate to yeah. culture. But why? Yeah, like, and then if he introduced yourself as Kwame, or when he, he introduced himself as Alex, but he was saying that 
the show made it into a narrative to where he wasn't proud, but mm -hmm. he felt like he would know, the contestants would automatically know that he was black. Yeah. And the whole point is to be blindly in love. Uh -huh. And then I remember when they first started the show, he said something about, yeah, like, it doesn't matter your skin color, your, I think Kwame was fishing for a oh, white right, woman. Okay. Of course. And I think Chelsea was fishing for some black dude. Yeah! <laughs> like, and I feel like that's what's keeping them together. I, I agree. So, <laughs> jumping over to Chelsea and Kwame, I feel like Chelsea, at first I was like, oh, she just seems so sweet. She seems like she really wants this. But I feel like she has some insecurities as well. Cause she, every five seconds, I love you, babe. I love you, babe. You know that. And not to say, she literally knew this man for two weeks. First of all, personally, I'm not a person to just like jump in and say, I love you. Like, I see if they was like going on and okay, I'm gonna get married. And it's like, okay, I think I truly love you. But every five seconds saying, I love you, babe. I love you, babe. Babe, it this makes it seem like you need somebody to like give you that fit, like yeah. reinforce something that it's like, it should naturally grow. Yeah. Like, don't forget y'all on show. Yes. But let the love grow. And I feel like, Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Even when she was talking about like having kids and like, I don't know you. I would have been scared. Yeah. I would have felt like, um, no shade when they walked into that big old house. Like they had a nice house. It yes. was on the water, but it was good to get out. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, Carmen, you better uh, make sure Loki. you don't drink that tea. Cause I was like, like, all them older women, they look like, huh? <laughs> he's a strong one. He's a strong one. And then she, He's a great singer. He's this. She led with naming all the reasons why they should like him, which yeah. gives me a reason to think naturally they would have questioned why exactly. she went for him. Exactly. I, I I was picking up on that because he even said that like when he goes to people because I feel like he all he probably date is white. Mm -hmm. So he was like every time I'm dating somebody, I feel like I have to say all this on my qualities of I'm a I went to school. I'm I'm a retired soccer player like. And I felt like to prove himself or validate yeah, who he is as I, a black man. I felt like she felt like she had to validate who he is as a black man to, to her family. Yeah, I definitely. And I was that. like, mm -mm. I don't like that. And I didn't like, yeah, just how like just too stuck on him she was. And I, I, I thought he was gonna say no at the altar. Me too. I think everybody. I feel like Kwame Loki a troll. Mm -hmm. I feel like he knew people were thinking. Well, but that's like, they filmed before, yeah. but I feel like he was giving us good TV, no shade. Yeah, well, and, yeah. But I feel like he was trying to like her, but I understand his hesitancy Yeah. when you're making me compromise all this stuff. Yeah. Like I have to even, okay, yes, I do work from home, mm -hmm. but why I gotta leave, I gotta give up all my hobbies. I gotta, like, you wanna have kids right away. Yeah. Like, we're, what about, the compromise me in the middle and then um, for her to just say well this is marriage yeah i don't want to to you because this seems scary like i don't want no mom but yeah. mm -mm, we already got an african mom for real enough. yeah like, that's more than enough like mm -mm. i agree i don't think i feel like she and maybe at this moment i don't know what's going on with their mm -hmm. relationship if they even together still or not but they are. yeah i felt like if if they are i've from the reunion, it seemed like she is kind of like grown more. He probably told her like, I feel like on camera we only seen a certain amount. Yeah. But he probably was trying they to said that they cut a lot out of their storyline in particular. Mm, yeah, I feel like he was trying to play cool for the cameras, but after like on the real, I feel like he was probably like, look, this is gonna work for me to still be in it. So like, and I feel like she would be a person to if he was like, I'm about to step if you don't yeah. get it together. She was like, yeah, for real. <laughs> Not my biracial babies. <laughs> I don't want to compromise like okay okay I'm gonna be whoever well for you or whatever so overall do you think they will last I actually do I but her I agree uh, too I think they will uh, I think she needs to relax a little bit because she was giving a little mom like at first I was really messing with Chelsea I'm like yeah, oh yeah, she cool to cool 
But and I'm sure it's editing as well. Yeah. Like even when it was in that store and he was like, "You look fly" or something. And yeah. She's like, "Just say I look cute." Yeah. Like, girl, I was like, okay. That was man. scary. Yeah. That was really scary to me because what? I was like, <laughs> girl, like that was a compliment. You like the good lingo, the black man lingo. Like, girl, you gotta keep up with it. If you wanna um, be a part of the community, if you wanna be a part of the kickout, because your feelings gonna be hurt. For real, because I was like, I was like, oh, and then when she started, I'm like, it was giving crazy, like, very baby, crazy. Girl. But I feel like, okay, let me not throw any shade or too much shade into the relationship. But low key, he's like the type that would cheat. And I'm like, Michael. Low key, because he was already like, okay, I get it, it's early stages. And he was talking to Micah. I felt like he was so caught up on Micah that he was still like, I don't know. I it was just, a little bit lingering still for Micah. Yeah. I feel like it's not for Micah specifically. I feel like he wants a fun party girl who's mm -hmm. willing to travel the road with him. Yeah. Who's like, yeah. Like, I feel like he wants a certain vibe to him. Uh, I totally like, agree. When you break it down, it's like his preference is a white woman, yeah. but it's also a certain type of white woman. Yeah, like he don't want no nobody who's gonna be his mom. Yeah, I feel like I feel like he said he came from a background where his parents control too much of his life. I feel like he want to be in control. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I feel like I she better hold on tight to that man. Yeah, or I feel like what he did was compromise a lot for the marriage. Like. Mm -hmm. Even though, cause you can tell by his face, and even though he'd be like laughing stuff off, like you do not look like that shit funny. Yeah, I'm like that's not funny. Like I feel like he's like ha -ha, like just to not like, say what you really feel it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like okay, I don't know. It just seems that show is a little bit. Yeah, I feel like we don't know the true of the relationship, but the show is really making it seem like he is not fully there, but he compromising just for the sake of oh marriage and being with this. Why it won't. Yeah, well, we might not know the truth between Kwame and Chelsea, but I know the truth about Brett and Tiffany. And yes! they all ask. No, I, mean, they, I swear, I knew it from the beginning. I'm like, it's just something we could see, we could tell, mm -hmm. um, we could feel it on our own. Like, that is something between them that's just. Man, that's the, they are the only reason why I'm like, that is something that could possibly be her. Yeah. And they had a first, I didn't watch the first season, but it's a couple that everybody always talks about, Cameron and I forget the other person's name, mm -hmm. but that was like the first season that really caught, well, it was the first season of the show, but their story was like the big thing that sold and everybody oh. says it reminds them of Brett and Tiffany. Oh. I watched their YouTube channel, they're still together, oh, like four nice. years later, five yeah. years later. So I feel like, if you're open enough to find real love, yeah, then it can be there. Mm -hmm. But you have like I don't think Tiffany or Brett went in there, but leading with their ego. Yeah, and I think that separated them for a lot of people. Definitely, like, they both seem truly genuine in what they were talking about, like even in the pods and stuff. And I felt like when they met, it was like okay, both both of them are attractive people. Mm -hmm. So when they met, they seemed to love. Oh, like because like you said looks matter too yeah so i feel like they both were attracted physically to each other mm -hmm. and yeah i already gained that yeah. mental connection so i feel like they're like the perfect couple they're like so cute they're both on a level where it's like it makes sense like yeah, it makes sense definitely like, they would have met in the real world and yeah. it made sense to me like and i'm just like that's a blessing of the show because they probably would have never met in yeah. real life until they went on the show, but now they're like, that's like fate for them. Like, yeah. I don't know if it's easy or whatever, but it is. It's like, all oh, like, they just like perfect for each other. And I don't, I just hope, fingers crossed, I don't hear nothing crazy. Yeah, I hope they last. I'm wishing nothing but the best for them. Yeah. But not to stir the pot. Yeah. But did you catch, well, two things. First, I did not like the way the producers, like, I feel like they was like low key sexualizing them. Like, I feel like, they were zooming in on Tiffany's butt. Yes, I, I thought like that was weird because they didn't do that to anybody else. Yeah, they were zooming in on her butt, and like they like even at the reunion when they was about to show the clip of them talking about like they was going about, like what are you guys yeah. talking about? Like, and then, then at the end, oh we're not gonna put you on a blast like that. What? You in a bridal like, room or something? They said. Yeah, and it just showed her sleeping, but yeah. it's like 
why are y'all doing that? Like, y'all could have asked them so many, like, that's why I didn't like the reunion. Yeah. Because y'all didn't ask the people, like, it's okay to talk about the drama, mm -hmm. but they didn't even get down to the needy, greedy, the needy, greedy drama. So why not hear the perspective of y'all most successful couple? Yeah, like, I agree. I feel like they, they could have did more with, like, showing the true yeah nature of what the show is about and showing mm -hmm. them more spotlighted but i felt like it wasn't too bad like most episodes that showed them and i mm -hmm. felt like the reunion was a bad bitch like of not show but highlighting overall, them but overall it was good yeah i didn't um i like the way that they showed them outside the sexualization of them yeah um and i just feel like damn i know we sexy but i just feel like Y'all better do that with everybody else. Yeah. Like, this black couple, y'all yeah. do that with everybody else. I feel like I'm gonna need to like, kind of like do it good. Cause I didn't pick up, I didn't really catch that. But yeah. if that is, then that is pretty weird. And I I felt, I'm, what made me really happy in the end is I feel like Tiffany, like I could tell she was a woman who was not gonna just settle with anybody. Mm -hmm. That's why she was a little older and hadn't really settled down yeah. yet. Cause it's not that she couldn't yeah it's that she was not going to settle yeah. and i feel like she was so used to like being unsure or maybe not dating the best guys yeah in her past it really showed and i'm kind of sad watching i feel like she couldn't really believe that brett loved her so much yeah and she kept had to like second guess him all yeah. the time like, are you sure are you sure and it's like it's good because it's like it's like such a beautiful thing and like you have to pinch yourself yeah but it's also it's like girl let this man love you uh, let this man show you what soft love is yeah. like what you deserve as a woman not only as a black woman but every woman uh -huh. deserves to be treated like a princess mm -hmm. or like a queen by whoever they're dating and i feel like i'm so happy that tiffany like is going to be able to experience that yes i totally agree i like i liked brett's demeanor and his like I feel like he was like quiet and quaint and like he would say like he loved it with a straight face but it would mm -hmm. be like you can see it in his like I, I don't know you would see it yeah, like, 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 had like a magnetic attraction to yeah, them. It was definitely. beautiful to watch. It was definitely beautiful to watch. Yeah, even when she met the family. I know. Yeah, that was so cute. I know. Oh, see, they, it was, it was meant to be. Yeah. Like, for them it was meant to be for sure. Yes. Like, hands down. Best couple on. <laughs> On the show. On the show. Yeah. I'm not even gonna ask you if they gonna make it. They better make it. For real, it's no question. Yeah, they're no questions it. asked. They're not um, <laughs> Okay. The only other couple I could think about is black uh black. It is Zach and Bliss. Together they make up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're perfect together. <laughs> yes. They're so weird in the cutest way though. Yeah. But what do you think about Zach and that whole doubling back and him choosing the ogre over? <laughs> not the ogre! Okay. She was giving Princess Fiona, was yeah. she not? First thing, like when he first came on the show, I was like, okay, he's kind of like, what he was saying to the people was pretty weird, like, oh, like, saying he was a stripper. But I was like, oh, he's probably just being goofy, blah, blah, blah. Like, I, I didn't think of it that deep and i was like oh he seems cool but then when him and irena like when he ended like whatever just his act like his facial expressions his like demeanor start being like no oh, no i, I feel like know. he was like trying to read her and mm -hmm. i feel like literally she was like why are you staring so hard like but i feel like no. he was <laughs> I don't know, maybe he was shocked. I would have been shocked too. <laughs> but he wanted to still though. He wanted to bring her. Did he? Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah. I feel like he is a little off. Like he yeah. I think he's not off. I think he's a little odd because of how he was up front. Yeah. And then I feel like he has like a very like he reminds me of those tech bros who are very analytical. Like I feel like him and Paul would have been friends in real life. Mm -hmm. Like he's very like, yeah. like almost robotic. That's what the vibes he give me. So it's interesting seeing him and Bliss together. Yeah. She has so many emotions, and I feel like because he's so robotic and so like strategical, he was trying to make Irina work mm -hmm. because Bliss. I feel like he couldn't understand how to deal with her like emotions, like in the past when she was saying. um 
when she was talking about Irina and how she felt, mm -hmm. I feel like Irina seen his seen no, I feel like Zach seen something about his mom in Irina. Oh. And I feel like he or he felt like um which called it bliss was gonna judge him. He said everybody yeah. should have to judge him. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Irina was safe because I feel like he knew that Bliss was at a like this standard. She's yeah. a teacher. She comes from a good family. She has money. So I feel like he was so afraid of like going for what was really good for him out mm -hmm. of the fear of judgment of him and his mom that he just went with Irina because that was like the easier thing. And she directly told him how she felt. Yeah. So he didn't have to guess. He knew exactly who he was getting, mm -hmm. but he was in for a surprise. For he real. Didn't know she was about to be dogging him out like that. Yeah. Because so. even the first, like, I, it was just so awkward. So, okay, it was so awkward, but I get what you mean, how he was probably like projecting. Yeah. And sh he was probably, yeah, seeing how her vibe was and trying mm -hmm. to like still make it work and balance. Mm -hmm. But to me, I just was like, I would probably be like how Irina was because he, I don't know, it was just cringe. Like, I was like, weird. But so why did Irina could have left? That's she definitely could have. But she had left every day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but she didn't leave that quick. Like it took yeah. time. I feel like Irina was probably like, okay, I'm a. I don't know because I don't want to just say she was a bad guy because she was annoying, very annoying, and I feel like she got the karma of what she and did. And then let's not forget she tried to go after Paul. Yeah, but my she was her only mess. friend. That was crazy. I was like. What? Like how? I mean, mm -mm. see, she's a mess. She is a mess. But I feel like Zach is a different type of mess. Yeah, he's yeah. a unstable. He needs a therapy mess. Like, yeah, because like mm -hmm. he's a little old to still be holding on to that much trauma yeah. from his mom, mm -hmm. and really be like, I feel like he make life decisions based on somebody who's not here anymore. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I was watching the episode when. Uh, his sister and grandma came and they were like trying to help. It was a heart for her and it was like, it was like getting emotional, but he just like zoned yeah. out. But I was like, he seems like he definitely needs to have that closure. Yeah, closure and, and yeah, like something because like it don't seem like he can handle his emotions properly. Mm -hmm. He was just like zoned out when it was like, oh, they was all crying and giving him a hug. He was just like sitting there like blanket on this. Like, it you could tell he was trying to process or try to figure out how to. Emails, so emotions. with that being said do you think that that's a good thing for him and bliss because i feel like bliss is so high in the emotional skill yeah. because of how her mom is yeah her mom and, and even all the ladies in her family seem to be like very nurturing and caring yeah. and just high emotions so do you think that's going to work out for zach and bliss like a balanced thing or would he not be fully able to understand i think it'll work out like yin -yang. yeah i think they're pretty much because i felt like I was just like, girl, you really have to go with But then, like, she really liked him, I guess. Mm -hmm. She liked the way he is. So I feel like it is going to work out for them. The only thing I feel... So, I don't know. He seemed like he a low-key, like, he would, like, stalk somebody. I don't know. That's, he gives me, like, vibes that he's, like... Like, insane. <laughs> yeah. So that's how I'm like... Like, let's better watch out, girl. Yeah, he seemed like if something go wrong, he'll be at her job, like... Peeking and not even knocking, he'll be in the background in the bushes, like seeing where mm -hmm. I feel like that's the binoculars. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. And I don't know why, like, I mean, you, I can't judge a book by a cover, but like, just his, his, his actions, and, yeah, very weird. So I'm just like, I couldn't, but hopefully, they're happy. Hopefully, they're, he's not like that. And I'm yeah. looking for her because I like Liz, she is a little like strange, this but. <laughs> Yeah. Strange. That's such a cute way to put it. Yeah. Um, do you think that if you were in that situation and um, let's be in blue shoes and you're attracted to that person, would you double back after somebody rejected you? Hmm. And yeah. And they rejected like, you for a kind of person like Irina. I think that's like the biggest part. Yeah. Because he didn't reject her for like a Tiffany where mm -hmm. it's just like, oh, that kind of makes sense. He like kind of went on a whole other scale with it. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like <laughs> his approach when he did was like, oh yeah, I mean, I really didn't work. So I, I like you. I like just try to like, it seems like, I personally be like, what? Like, 
I would have cut it off at that when they met up for you. I know she was. Me too. I, I swear I was like, like, get out my face. Yeah, I was like, cool. She like this dude is just weird. Like he trying to trying to finesse. Yeah, and get somebody. TV. Cause yeah. that's what I thought. I thought when he he was like, I'm not leaving here with no wife or no TV time. Like I felt yeah. like he was trying. But then as they like started to go on dates and stuff, I'm like, okay. Yeah. Like it makes more sense because they were they should have been together from the start based mm -hmm. on their personalities. But I just feel like I totally agree with Bliss when she said, if you're falling for her, it makes me question the kind of person you are. Because, mm. like, I'm just feeling like if Irina, no matter what she said to him, if, like, the day before they left, if she would have been like, Bliss trying to make this work, mm -hmm. would he really have went after Bliss? Probably not. And that he shows a lot about him. True. Exactly. If she did, he probably... I feel like with him, he was really looking for somebody like uh like to love, and mm -hmm. he would. It seemed like he would do anything for that ish. Like he was like, oh, I'll compromise. Like with her, like it seemed like he was like that too. Kind of similar to how Marshall was like, oh, I just yeah. need somebody. Like I yeah. feel like they just had that kind Maybe of yeah. yeah. And I feel like because he didn't have his mom, um, Zach is looking for like a person who's gonna lead him. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he's a lawyer. A lot like when we hear about BDSM and all these things, these men who are in powerful, powerful positions, they want to be freed from that. You yeah. Know? And I feel like he didn't, he had his mom at first, but he didn't have that strong woman figure yeah. that's going to tell him how it is. And I feel like that's what he liked about Irina. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. So and hopefully Liz could. I don't know. I don't really. I mean, we never know. So Liz got her daddy. He's going to check. True. Liz, don't check them. The daddy going to check them. I remember even after, like, the dad, like, him and Paul had a meetup. And then they was like, oh, how was the dad? Like, how was that meeting? He was like, yeah, it was, like, intense or whatever. He was like, but I like him. And yeah. you probably need that, like, yeah. stability. And, like, I feel like the dad did what he was supposed to do. Doesn't exactly. Have. Like, people were saying, like, he was mean. And no. First of all. They haven't even been dating for as long as the rest of the people in the pods. Yeah. And they already dated for a short amount of time. So do you really know him? Yeah. Like, I feel like the people who was, like, so going hard against her dad, I feel like they don't have dads. Mm -hmm. And they don't know what it's like to have, like, a man. Or they don't understand their perspective as a protector and a father trying to protect his daughter. Yeah. Because that's what I've seen in that moment. Like I agree. I was like... Okay, when he's when I first seen the little, you know how they do the preview for the mm -hmm. episode. I was like, period, the only one that's making sense. Yeah, so like, I was like happy. He like, was grounded in reality. Yeah, like, for real. So I was like, good. <laughs> like said my mother with her crying. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, good. Like he's the only one who has some sense. Like this this stuff is like real. Mm -hmm. And then he, she was just like, you don't know, blah blah. blah. He was like, I do. Know. Yeah, I was like. <laughs> Like, Girl, what are you talking about? Makes sense of this, but I mean, you met him in two weeks ago, and now you want to marry him. Yeah, and like he's trying to tell you, like this is like your value, you know, your value. Yeah, because I can see as her dad, like how that looked. Mm -hmm. It looked crazy. Yeah, especially if you didn't put your daughter in school, make sure she had a good life, yeah. did all this stuff, and then it looks like she's just about to go basically elope. Yeah. with a stranger on a reality on show. a reality tv show after yeah. he chose somebody else so yeah. it's just like so many layers i wonder how her dad felt when he watched the whole season and found out about everything for real so let me get that one v1 <laughs> <laughs> for real though but i would have felt some better way like ew, like yes weird. so the question with them do you think they will last Yes, I do. I think they're both like pretty much perfect for each other. Mm -hmm. I think, I hope that it won't get psycho, but some type of vibes is feeling like psycho to me from him. But I feel like as, when he starts to bubble up and act, get that twitch in his eye, <laughs> she just needs to play that song they kept talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> his little Zachabai. Really? When he back to go bye bye, play that song. They're gonna work out. Um, overall, how much is that? What do we say? Um, I think um, Bliss and Zach is gonna work yeah. out. I don't think Jackie and um, what's his name, Josh, Josh, are gonna work out. I do. You? Do. <laughs> yeah. um, I think Tiffany and Brett definitely. If they don't work out. No relationship. <laughs> they need to cancel that show. For real. It's, it, it'll be no reason for them to have all. that show because. 
there's no hope in finding love in that. For real, because that's like the per they're perfect for each other. Mm -hmm. So they definitely will. Uh, what about and then Kwame <laughs> and Chelsea, or Alex and Chelsea? <laughs> no, I Kwame. Think, I think they'll work out, but I feel like he will definitely be. I don't want to say that, but I mean I don't want to project not project, but like say something like that. He just seems like the type of person that would be infant like yeah. infidelity. His eyes was just wondering a little too, too much loose and too much when it came to girls like Micah. And Micah basic as hell, so he gonna be seeing a lot of them in yeah. Portland. So, so Chelsea well, better um strap that nigga to her back. Yeah, I'm just like that whole encounter when him and her was talking for twenty minutes, he was like she was rubbing on his leg, like kinda of like touching his leg and he was just like laughing at her face. Chelsea I would so never better than me. Chelsea too is, better than me because I would have sat right over in there and be like, what you talking about? Exactly. I want to laugh. I want to be in there on a joke. Yeah. You know, let's like, yeah, have fun. Let's talk about it. Exactly. So I feel like she seemed too lenient and he seemed too crazy. Like he'll mm -hmm. be out and she should be like, babe, this She's going to turn her eye. Turn, yeah. Turn it on the cheek. Like Jesus Put in what? Big space? <laughs> <laughs> She's going to get her own lot of. For real. So. I think they'll work out, but it's not going to be like the perfect relationship yes. to me. It just don't seem like he the type. He seems, he, to me, at first, I was like, he seemed like he just on here because of his show. Yeah, he, I mean, he was on another show. Um, he was on Love at First Sight. A mess. Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> I'm just saying mess. what it is. I don't think so. No. I think she going to try to hold on as much as she can until the... the not ribs and yes. it's just yeah, yeah i definitely feel the same yeah <laughs> um, i hope marshall find love with his little nurse bay mm -hmm. um and whoever else was on the show i don't remember you so you yeah. really don't matter i didn't even so i was thinking it was gonna be way more i didn't think it was just gonna be because yeah. this was my first time watching it. Mm -hmm. i was like wait it's only them like where's the rest i think other people get engaged but they don't follow everybody oh you know interesting huh. I know we call it a day. No, I'm right. No, I don't know the <laughs> But <laughs> yeah, we gonna have to do a. If we hear any drama in these streets, if any couples break up, best believe we are gonna be back with the report. Cause I'm, I'm really interested in seeing I'm if these couples gonna last. For I was thinking about following them on Instagram. I don't, but I was like Twitter and Twitter be having like all the tea, so I'm gonna be kind of like. Ooh, keep it up. Yeah, you know, TikTok, they be having everybody. Oh, yeah. Have TikTok. Promise. <laughs> right. That was. Why can't Cyrus song? I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. But he was a mess. Like, I was like, what is going on? They were like, he by himself by the light. But how did they know he was by himself? True. I mean, you know, we just seen a certain. The movie. internet. Yeah. So we don't know for sure. But All I know for sure is he write that bull better than me. <laughs> For real! Okay. Yeah, that was speculation for the speculation. speculation. For real. But yes. Yeah, so I guess that wraps up our take on Love is Blind. Yes. It was a good season. I never watched it before, but I'll probably double back to the third season. Yes. And yes. 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 we could come talk, we could have an episode, maybe mm -hmm. not about the season, but yeah. maybe about the dynamics, because girl, you're going to be in for a treat. Yeah. They, had each other messed up. It was mm -hmm. even more brutal because it's younger people. Oh, yeah. I, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. So, overall, the final question is, do you think somebody could really fall in love like that? Like I do. Okay. I feel like I Tiffany and Brett is a... Is a perfect example. Yeah. Because at first I'm like, these people, everything is just for show. But they really change I my I think when the casting directors do their job mm -hmm. and match people and think about intentionally, like... Who they're casting, I yeah. think they could work. Yeah. Definitely. If they do their background checks, mm -hmm. they need to do some of the other shows because. Yeah. <sighs> that would really be for TV, but this specific show, I feel like it's pretty good. Yeah, I agree. So yeah. that's our take on it, and that wraps up our episode. Yes, we hope y'all liked it. Make sure y'all write in the comments who y'all think is going to last. Yeah. If y'all have any insight. Oh, or yeah, any some tea, extra tea that we didn't even yes. know. Sip, sip. Mm -hmm. Yes. Add it to the comments. So make sure y'all are tuning in every Saturday to our uh, visual podcast. Make yes. sure y'all listen in every Thursday we drop. And yeah, make sure you guys are streaming, running the numbers up. Y'all can find yes. us anywhere we are stream platform. Mm -hmm. We are stream podcast. Yes. Yes. And that's our episode, guys. So bye. bye.